Well, good afternoon. On behalf of Penn State, I wish to welcome Governor Wolf and thank him for his leadership to encourage Pennsylvanians to get vaccinated. It's fitting that we're in the Pagula Ice Arena because this place is a symbol of flexibility and strength and the innovative spirit of our community. While we know it's a thrilling athletic venue, over the past year, it has also served as a COVID testing site and most recently, a vaccination location. This is a place where we do what needs to be done, whether it means beating Michigan in hockey or getting vaccinated for the good of ourselves, our families, and our friends. This is a place where we come together for leadership, commitment, and community. That's what's called for today, and the stakes are high. We've lost members of the Penn State family and 577,000 deaths in the U.S. alone. In addition, we have lost countless opportunities to spend time doing so many things that we love, such as coming together at Pagula or Beaver Stadium or just about any place else. Those things are now within our reach after 15 very long months. My wife, Molly, and I are fully vaccinated thanks to the Moderna vaccine. Our adult children and eligible family members have also been vaccinated, although my granddaughter is still too young. I look forward to the day when we can all be protected from COVID-19. So I urge everyone to get the first available vaccine as soon as possible. In Pennsylvania, anyone over the age of 16 is eligible and the vaccines are readily available. According to the CDC, as of yesterday morning, May 4th, Pennsylvania had administered first doses to 50.6% of its entire population and the state ranks 10th among the 50 states for the first doses administered by percentage of population. We're moving in the right direction, but we need to do better. Because once we do, we can safely do all the things that we have missed. Hugging our family and friends, eating out at restaurants, taking our children to school and daycare for fully engaged learning, going to the gym, getting a haircut, doing little things, and doing some big things. All is important and all is overdue. So let me go back to where we began with the three things that we need right now, leadership, commitment, and community. First, let's talk about leadership. Penn Staters can and must demonstrate the leadership to do your part and get vaccinated. If you're already vaccinated, thank you. Now I ask your friends, family, and neighbors if they're vaccinated, and if not, encourage them to take the first step. Take the first available appointment. Volunteer to help. This is the most important effort of our lifetime, and I call on all Penn Staters to lead now. Second is commitment. This means taking the time to get your shot and then returning for that second shot if one of them is required. Commitment overcomes procrastination. Commitment demonstrates character and commitment means action. Finally, I wanna talk about community. Not everyone can get the COVID-19 vaccine. And those people are our neighbors, family members, friends, and their children. The vaccine is not yet available for those under 16. This past year has been difficult for all of us, especially for our children who have spent their school days on Zoom, missed proms, missed sporting events, and missed all sorts of extracurricular activities. Some have lost parents or grandparents. Our actions in getting vaccinated can keep them safe while allowing them to return to all of the activities they have missed. Your vaccine protects them and it protects you. 
getting a vaccine is one of the easiest and best ways you can do something for your community. What's more, our communities across the Commonwealth are comprised of small business owners who have been struggling to maintain their operations during a time of extreme economic distress. The sooner that we increase the vaccine numbers, the sooner we'll be back to business. In this stadium, in this arena, in that stadium, in our hometowns, and in our communities across the Commonwealth. And it takes everyone. It takes leadership, commitment, and community. Let's go do it. Get your shot. Let's show the nation that Pennsylvania and Penn Staters are leaders when it matters most. On behalf of Penn State, I thank you for all of your efforts to get vaccinated. And now, I'm very pleased to introduce Nittany Lion football head coach, James Franklin. We're encouraged uh, by the governor's announcement yesterday regarding mitigation efforts and masking procedures. But we also understand there's still much work to be done. Pennsylvania has a good vaccination numbers so far, and we ask Pennsylvanians, Pennsylvanians to continue to get vaccinated to help us begin return to the activities we've enjoyed prior to the pandemic. Our number one priority throughout this pandemic has been the health and safety of our students, coaches, staff, and community that does not change the guidance, the changes announced yesterday. I'm fully vaccinated and many members of our staff and team are fully vaccinated as well. My wife and I got the vaccination not only to protect ourselves, but to protect my daughter who has sickle cell this, uh, from this deadly disease. I encourage everyone who is eligible to get vaccinated. The more people who are vaccinated, the better chance we have to get back to 107,000 strong here in Beaver Stadium. Last season wasn't the same without the support of our amazing fans at home and on the road. We want our Ball State game on September 11th to be our first family reunion in almost two years. And we want Beaver Stadium and all of Happy Valley rocking. This is not just about Penn State football. This is about the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. We know how important it is for our community and fans to have our college football and professional teams in all sports return to full capacity. These teams have an economic impact on our communities and provide a sense of togetherness for every fan base. Getting the vaccine will help protect our community and our children. We are not yet eligible to get the vaccine, who are not yet eligible to get the vaccine. Getting the vaccine will help our local businesses by allowing them to return to normal operation and having large gatherings like football games to boost the economy. Do your part to help us together get back and gather. At this time, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, Theo Johnson, one of our current football players. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Theo Johnson. I'm a freshman tight end here at Penn State. This past season, we really missed Penn State family cheering us on in Beaver Stadium. In order to be able to have 107,000 of our closest friends cheering us on this season, we ask everyone that is able to get vaccinated. I myself, I'm halfway through my vaccination process. I'm looking forward to receiving my second dose. I speak for our entire program in saying, we are looking forward to bringing the family back together this fall. Now I'd like to welcome Governor Wolf to the podium. Thank you, and we are. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Theo, and, and President Barron. Coach Franklin, thank, thank you very much for, for doing this. Um, th this is really, really important. And I am really happy to, to be here in Happy Valley. And I really appreciate the support that, that I'm getting, and that all of us are getting from folks here in Penn State. 
Um, as I think President Barron said, Pennsylvania's vaccine rollout is moving at a fast pace now. Uh, vaccine supply has increased, uh, and Pennsylvania's doing really well. Uh, I think, did you say 50.6 or did you say 50.6%? We're actually at 50.9% as of this morning uh, in first doses. That ranks as 10th in the nation, but number one among the biggest states. Uh, we still have some, some work to do on second doses. We're at 33.7%, but that's above the national average, which is 32%. And we're above the national average in terms of doses used. Uh, and I think our rank is 19th uh, in, in that regard. Uh, so we're doing really well. But the thing is, we really need everybody to get the vaccine. Uh, that's the, the, the issue. More than half of Pennsylvanians have the vaccine, the first dose, and that's great. But we need, we need to get beyond that. Uh, all of the activities that we missed out since last spring get safer when we all get vaccinated. I know a lot of vaccine information over the winter talked about how important it is for high-risk groups to get the vaccines, uh, and that for younger folks and people without a lot of risk factors, uh, maybe it didn't seem like the priority was quite there. But I want to reassure you that it is. We really need everybody to get vaccinated. We've done a good job with the, the first round, the, the 65 and older, I think, in Pennsylvania. I think 90 to 93 percent have gotten at least one dose. Pennsylvania is number three in the country when it comes to the 65 and older population. But now we need folks in the age group here, Penn State, to, to get the vaccine. This is especially true for college students. Uh, right now, I know this is something that that is maybe not top of mind. Finals coming up, moving back home, finding summer jobs. But now that college students are eligible to get vaccinated, it is really important to make this a priority. When you get vaccinated, of course, you're protecting yourself. But when you get vaccinated, you're also protecting the people around you, including family members who are under 16 and can't yet get the vaccination. Friends who you want to see over the summer, they depend on you getting the vaccine. And your fellow fans at sporting events, including football games right back here in Beaver Stadium, we all need you to get that, the vaccine. I know that Penn State fans here in Happy Valley and throughout the Commonwealth want to get back to supporting the Nittany Lions in person again. And I want to see those stands across the way filled as much as anybody here. But to make it safe for all of us to come together again, we really need more Pennsylvanians to get the vaccine. So each and every one of us can be part of the, the solution. I waited, I had my first dose, I get my second dose in less than two weeks. I waited to get the first dose because I wanted to make sure that every Pennsylvanian was eligible before I made my appointment. So I did that three weeks ago when everybody was eligible and my first, the appointment for the first dose was two weeks ago on Monday. So my second dose will be in York on uh, the 17th of May and I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but it's important that we all do that. So it's important that, that we, we get our vaccines. Remember, vaccines, they're free. You don't need insurance. Nowadays, you don't even need an appointment. Most places are now accepting walk-ins. And the thing for, for students, one of the concerns is that students get their first dose on campus or near the campus, and they go home, and four weeks later, they're in a separate state, separate community. Uh, what are they going to do? Here in Pennsylvania, and I think in most places around the country now, you can go in anywhere and get that second dose. Just tell them you got your first dose in you know, Happy Valley and, and you need the second dose. Uh, everybody in Pennsylvania uh, should allow you to, to get that. The vaccines are widely available. You don't have to wait in line anymore. Supply is not the issue. Uh, but we need you to get that, that vaccine. So even if you get your first dose in a different county or state, you can get your second dose wherever you are certainly in Pennsylvania, but I think that's true in just about every state. Just find a vaccine provider near you, let them get to, let them know that, that you're a college student and that you can't go to the same place as you got your first dose and they should give it to you. They'll help you sign in for the second shot appointment and they'll help you get it. So I encourage all Pennsylvanians to get vaccinated as soon as possible because the sooner we all get vaccinated, the sooner we can safely get back doing the things that we've missed, like going to Penn State games. Getting vaccinated is a way that each of us can play a part in overcoming this pandemic. So thank you very much. Thanks again, Dr. Barron. Thanks again, Theo. Thanks again, Coach Franklin. And now we'll all take questions. Governor, Any question? Yeah. For, for college, it's like going to in -person class in the fall. Have you had any talks with any administrators here at Penn State or any uh, college administrators about a requirement that students would have to be vaccinated before returning to campus on fall? No, I have not. Is that on your agenda at all? No.
I mean, I, I, again, I made the announcement yesterday that, that I'm going to be open by June 1st, Memorial Day weekend. And, and uh, I think the, the CDC has some things to say about, you know, how people get back together. And again, we all, I want to get the, the, the vaccination up there. We, we all want to get to 70 percent. Uh, but, but by the time we get to the fall, uh, you know, there are going to be a lot of things that are very, very different than, than what they are now. We're going to want to stay safe and, and we're going to want to uh, do the things that we've learned over the last painful 16 months. But, but I think uh, we, we want to get back to normal as quickly as we can. Yes. Students have been vaccinated, and how that compares with I, other universities. I think that's a good question. I don't know. Do you, do you know what percentage of what percentage of Penn State students have been vaccinated? Uh, we don't, I don't know. Uh, but uh, we can get it for you. We'll get it for you. Did you decide to come here for instead of some other university for a specific reason? I love Penn State. Love I love to come here. I mean, there there uh, there are a lot of yeah. That's right. I. I'm a fan, but but uh, uh, it's a it's a beautiful place. But I think it it, it represents. Uh, I mean, Pennsylvania is what second or third in the country in terms of the number of seats in higher education. So we are a university state, uh, and it's really important here. There are a lot of people who come to go to, to school in Pennsylvania and then go elsewhere uh, when the spring term is over. So I want to make sure that that everybody knows who's in that situation that. If they get their first dose wherever they are in Pennsylvania in college, they can go home and, and still be uh, comfortable that they're going to get that second vaccine. I think this is a great place to make that clear. Are there other incentives the state can offer to encourage people to get vaccinated? Yeah, there are some states that have offered. West Virginia has offered a bond, I think. Uh, some states have offered drinks, free drinks. Uh, so we, we have not. I think, I think Pennsylvanians are just... Uh, decent human beings and, and will do the right thing to, for, for the, the people around them. One of the indicators is, is the seniors. It's been such a great experience that, you know, we're 92, 93 percent of seniors got it. There was no incentive. Uh, they wanted to, to keep themselves safe and they wanted to keep their family members and friends safe. And, and I think that's what's going to motivate Pennsylvanians. Governor, what's the next step now? Maybe Coach Franklin, President Barron. The next step in the process to open up Beaver Stadium to more people in September. I, I think that's up up to them. I think the the uh, and as far as the state's concerned, uh, I've said I I I agree with every but everything they've said. We, all of us want to get uh, fans back there. Uh, the fans we, we want to make sure they're safe, uh, and and I think the the vaccination is probably the best thing we can we can do about uh, to to make sure that that happens. But. Uh, wouldn't it be great to see 100, how many people, 120,000, I keep saying 120,000, 107,000, 120, 120. <laughs> I, I think I've been there at a, yeah, it, well, it's been 100, standing room only, so that's, that's what we want to get back to, and how we get back there safely, uh, we've learned a lot of things about uh, the, the pandemic, people I think are probably a little more uh, concerned about their health now than they were 16 months ago and have different things that they're, they're looking at. But, but I think there's nobody who doesn't want places like this, Beaver Stadium, to, to uh, have the fans uh, yelling for their team. One last question. Uh, what went into lifting restrictions on June 1st? What did you guys see to make that decision? And what did, how does that affect um, college campuses like uh, Penn State and filling Beaver Stadium and filling stadiums like that? I think the big thing was the progress we're making on the on the vaccines. I, I think people are, you know, all of us are becoming a lot more confident uh, that we have a, a, a really good path to to the kind of safety that we didn't have 16 months ago. And and uh, uh, I, I personally looked. This wasn't necessarily we, there was no algorithm that said which we hit this we get we get to to opening. But there are just a lot of good indications moving in the right direction. One of them was the vaccines. Sure. Okay. Anything else? All right. Thanks a lot, everybody.